Good morning, and welcome to New Food Who Dis, the show where we get reacquainted with food that's antiquated. And today, we're going to make some tomato jelly salad. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this. Because seriously, my body's like a 4 out of 10 at most, and it's nothing to write home about. Today's recipe comes from the Book of Tried Recipes, published circa 1900. Real quick, if you're into this sort of stuff, you should definitely check out my video on banana salad. I'll link it here. And as always, if you're enjoying, please remember to get friendly with that like button, share the video, and subscribe. It greatly helps the channel and my emotional well-being. So, moving on! Just to give you a sense of how this cookbook feels about salads, I'd like to read for you the very first sentence of the section aptly titled, Salads. <clears throat> salads have but little food value. Now, obviously, nowadays, we know that salads can provide a ton of food value. But back then, salads served a different purpose. At the time, at least among American homemakers, salads served as equal parts a visually interesting conversation piece, a way to get your kid to choke down some vegetables, <laughs> and something that you could whip together real quick for that last minute funeral potluck. <laughs> And jelly salads, like the one we're going to make today, checked all those boxes, but had the added bonus of being, how do you say, luxurious. See, jelly salads, and especially tomato jelly salad, fall into a food category known as aspics. Aspics were developed and perfected by the French in the 19th century, and for a long time were considered the pinnacle of fine dining. To make an aspic back then, you basically just took whatever ingredients you could think of, delicately suspended them in gelatin, which you had to make from scratch, meaning boiling the shit out of animal bones and hooves until you extracted that sweet, sweet collagen. They were considered especially difficult to make, as noted in Julia and Julia. It was only a few days ago that I had a meltdown over my aspect. I'm a mess. All this work meant that this dish was reserved for very special occasions. But that all changed with the advent of powder gelatin, first patented in 1845 by industrialist Peter Cooper, who later sold it to Pearl Bixby White, who then added sugar and fruit flavoring, and in 1897 trademarked the product we now know as Jell-O. At the exact same time, Charles Knox founded a similar company that you'll probably recognize today since they basically cornered the market in unflavored powder gelatin. Now, Jell-O's time to shine would happen later, like in the 1950s and 60s. But at the turn of the century, it was unflavored gelatin that really had the mass appeal since you could make sweet and savory aspics without needing to uh, boil hooves. And one of the most classic, most fundamental aspects around at the time was tomato aspic, AKA tomato jelly salad. To make tomato jelly salad, we're gonna need the following ingredients. Two and a half cups of cooked tomatoes, one slice of onion, one stalk celery, one bay leaf, two cloves, half teaspoon salt, one cup cold water, one tablespoon vinegar, and half a box of granulated gelatin. And after that, the rest is pretty simple. First, you want to put the granulated gelatin into the cold water and set that aside along with the vinegar. Then you want to put the tomatoes, celery, onion, bay leaf, cloves, and salt in a pot and cook on medium heat for 15 minutes, stirring regularly. And after those 15 minutes are up, go ahead and add the vinegar and the gelatin and stir to combine. Then you want to run that through a strainer and make sure you really mash that stuff around to get enough of the liquid out. Then just pour that into a plain or border mold and let it set so firm. Putting this in a fancy decorative mold is arguably the most important hallmark of any aspic. Now this one before us is all right, but for this special occasion, I knew I had to pull out all the stops and use the fanciest mold I own. Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 da 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 it's, 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 it's indescribably beautiful. And before we dig in, there's actually one last step. It says here to serve with any of the salad dressings. Well, luckily there's a ton of salad dressings in this same cookbook, and the one that I've been meaning to try is the very counterintuitive sounding boiled salad dressing. Now, I actually whipped this up ahead of time. I didn't think it needed to be filmed, but I did put the recipe in the description, and I'll give you two pointers ahead of time. First, despite the name, you don't actually cook this thing at a full boil. I'm nowhere near full boil. 
Second, the recipe calls for butter, but it doesn't actually tell you what to do with it. I would just whisk it in at the end slowly once you turn off the heat, that way the dressing won't break. Okay, so now we just need to add a little dressing for completeness. And yeah, that is very upsetting to look at. Maybe just clean some of that off the front. and Maybe it'll help if I just serve up a portion. And so with that, I've lost my appetite. Yet I march forward for you, for food history! What am I tasting? What does this taste like? This would not be my first choice. But it's not, it's not horrible. It tastes like the sauce that comes with ravioli in a can. If it were sweet, the texture would actually be really nice. But right here, the whole jelly texture with tomato, oh, my body is just like, this is not food. Let me taste this dressing on its own. Oh damn, this dressing is the shit. It's very smooth, kind of has like a butter sauce type texture. It tastes like coleslaw sauce mixed with a little bit of mayonnaise and then like a lot of diner honey mustard. Like the really runny stuff that just barely coats your chicken tendy. Honestly, I think it's saving this jelly salad. Okay, I've had enough. The tomato flavor is very shallow. Coupled with the gelatinous vibe, made me feel like I was eating the fat on top of some pasta sauce. And before you go saying, well, that's just your opinion, every Sunday we have friends over for dinner. Uh, I'm gonna drop this jelly bombshell on them and get their reaction too. Here's the remains of the one I tasted in the video. <laughs> it just like looks worse with the tip cut off. I hate it. Aspect of my grandma. Oh, that dressing is really good. The dressing is really good. Just we'll see you with the kale, or is that decorative? It's decorative. Oh. It's Lizzie's <laughs> having a moment. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No, it's not. Try it. Like, try, try it. Try it. It's gonna put a little bit of the sauce. I don't. I'm just, I don't like you that either, though. So. Uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> no, it tastes like fucking tomato soup. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what say ye? Rip or resurrect? Truth be told, neither of these recipes is really dead. Dead. Sure, tomato salad was hot shit, and sure it fell out of favor with the general public. Case in point, Jell-O actually introduced a seasoned tomato Jell-O in the 1960s, but they discontinued it soon after. Something about the combination of the tangy, salty, sweet, rubbery, mushy, gelatinous vegetableness just didn't appeal to the masses. But tomato jelly salad is really only dead in name because it still survives in pockets of the American South. Southern Living did an article and a video on the dish as recently as August 2018. Thing is, they're calling it by its old name now, Tomato Aspic. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. And as for the boiled salad dressing, shit was legit. And again, it's not dead, like, at all. Just do a simple Google search of boiled dressing, and you'll see there's a ton of recipes out there. It's very much alive and out there. It's just kind of secluded to shadowy regions of the world, like, the American South and the UK. That's right, strangely enough, uh, it's very much alive in the UK where it's sold as a pre-made condiment in the stores called salad cream. The Brits do have a way with words. So in lieu of a pure rip or resurrect, here's what I will say. To boiled salad dressing, I say re-up, revitalize, re-enlist, renew, all that good shit. And to tomato jelly salad, I say respect. Please stay where you are, and I will keep my distance as well. Thank you, bye. We out! Hey y'all, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like my video, subscribe to my channel, cook lots of food, and eat it with friends. See you guys next time.